Now, of course, before we can set out to explore the solar system, we've got a few minor problems to overcome. Not the least of which is every time we launch, it costs the U.S. taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Well, it's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. I'll tell you what. Here is a NASA patch. Why don't you have your mom sew that on your book bag? Now, who here wants to know how astronauts go to the bathroom? Oh, right. See, now, during liftoff, all the astronauts wear diapers. People often wonder why I chose to pursue a career in theoretical physics. I usually respond by saying I wanted to unravel the inner workings of the universe. Yeah, perhaps when Captain Kirk said to boldly go, he meant in one of those. Huh? <laughs> but the real answer was I wanted to prove this nincompoop wrong. Right. Beat me up potty. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with Sheldon again. I figured it out! I figured it out! One night. I want to sleep one night. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi there. With my research complete and my ulcer on the mend, all that was left to do was send my work to NASA and wait to become America's scientific sweetheart. So I waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. Something's on my shoulder again. For the first time, SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX founder Elon Musk called the event an incredible milestone in the history of space. Elon, the CNN reporter's here to talk to you. Hang on. Send him in. 